uh, show. Our show is Africa and the Development, where we analyze and discuss ideas about uh, development. And today we have another theme, and this theme was inspired by a chapter written by uh, Easton, William Easton in the book that he called The White Man's Burden. And uh, you can remember that last time also we did something about uh, him, about development, the theory that he, he gave about development. William normally is in opposition with uh, Geoffrey Sachs in the thinking about development in countries who are called developing countries. Kind of a remind, I want to just say that uh, Geoffrey Sachs saw countries in development as being trapped and they cannot do anything by themselves. They need a big push to help them so that they can develop. And because of that, they need money, aid. But uh, William is coming with a new approach. He says uh, that uh, this approach uh, that uh, Geoffrey has been proposing has been around for years, so, I mean, he, a lot of years, decades. So he said, uh, this is not working. And he came with this approach he called bottom up. Bottom up, he means that uh, people should be helped, those who are on the ground working, failing and uh, trying again. This is what he is uh, willing to help because he believes strongly that uh, development must be built from bottom up, not uh, up but uh, n n not up down. So this is what is proposing. And when you compare the two approaches, you will see that they are in opposition. And today, we come back again to this author that we call William Esterly. In his book that I mentioned before, he wrote a chapter that he called bailing out the poor. And in this chapter, he talks a lot about the IMF. And because of that, the title of our discussion today will be IMF and its mission. And this is what we're going to discuss. As you know, I'm not alone. I'm uh, with uh, my friend, Alassane, who uh, we will discuss together this topic. And Alassane, good morning. How are you? Good. Thanks. Are you doing OK yourself? Oh, yeah, I am, definitely. And uh, you are ready? I am. OK. So with Alassane, we are going to discuss this topic, IMF and its mission. And uh, because this is the topic of the day, I'm going to ask Alassane, what is the mission of uh, IMF at the beginning of it? W w what is it? Oh, first of all, uh, let's define what uh, IMF is. IMF stands for International uh, Monetary Fund. It's a financial institution located in uh, Washington, D.C. and uh, According to the statistics of uh, the year 2004, IMF uh, resources uh, are uh, $152 billion. Uh, these are the av available resources uh, to lend to countries uh, who are in uh, financial difficulty. That is a, a big chunk of money. Oh, yeah, exactly. And out of that, uh, $96 billions are out for, for loans uh, already. 
So the first mission of, uh, I mean, coming back to your question, the first mission of uh, IMF is to, uh, its original mission mm -hmm. it was to uh, help uh, countries uh, with, uh, who have uh, like a deficit in the balance of payment mm -hmm. to restore the, the, to restore or to wipe up the deficit and uh, generate uh, economic uh, growth. So that, that was the first mission of IMF. But over time, uh, uh, the mission uh, tend to they cover up uh, other aspects of economic development, not only uh, uh, helping uh, countries with, uh, Crisis uh, with, uh, with uh, deficit in their balance of payment, mm. but they just look at the, they're trying to help uh, countries with uh, financial difficulties, those who have uh, budget deficits. So, so they're ha trying to uh, just lend them money, but it comes with uh, conditionality. So they have to set up some conditions, and uh, the countries who want to lend money has to abide by those conditions before they, uh, they release the money to the country. Mm. So uh, that's... Uh, the next missions that uh, IMF took uh, later on. So, but uh, we, we will get, uh, uh, we will go through uh, these missions uh, over our our discussions. Okay, let me ask a quick question here. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, the current mission mm -hmm. is a second step mm -hmm. of uh, the original mission. And uh, we can see that if they go to the second step, it means that the first step was a, a success. Oh yeah, the, f the first step, uh, the first mission was uh, successful. So according to the literature on uh, uh, IMF and uh, the World Bank, uh, the mission has been successful at the beginning. Mm -hmm. well, you know, uh, IMF has uh, a research, I mean, uh, research and development uh, office so where they hire uh, students with uh, PhDs in uh, in economics from very uh, intellectual uh, people, yeah, from uh, uh, best known uh, Ivy League uh, universities. So I think uh, from there, the idea came that well, since we are doing good on uh, on this uh, mission, we need to uh, broaden our mission and then uh, take order as uh, try to uh, do something else, to add something else to what we are already doing that's working. That's why they uh, decided to help countries in financial needs. Yeah, I think it's mm. normal. When mm. you succeed in your first step, mm. you start uh, having to ambitions to mm. go further than yeah. what you are doing, and that's what they did, mm. which is a good thing. Yeah. But uh, when we look at uh, what they are doing right now, it seems like uh, they don't have a lot of success as uh, they had at the beginning because when you read the people like uh, uh, William Westerly and others like uh, Dambisa Moyo, mm -hmm. you will see like uh, the, the work that they are doing right now is not successful. It's not successful. Why they can persist doing it? Well, uh, uh, IMF uh, and the World Bank, uh, yeah, as you said, uh, they have been successful in their first missions. Uh, since they came up with uh, structural adjustment programs mm -hmm. to help uh, countries in financial needs, that's where the chaos uh, started. Uh, except very few countries have been successful in the with the program, mm -hmm. with the fund program, like uh, Thailand and uh, South Korea in 1980s. In the 80s, they have been successful with uh, IMF uh, program. Uh, in 1994, 1995, uh, Mexico da uh, did a good job. Uh, the country was successful in uh, uh, with uh, IMF program to close their financial deficit and then uh, generate uh, uh, economic growth. And they even paid the money uh, ahead of, uh, I mean, the deadline mm -hmm. that they have been given. So, uh, except those uh, few countries. Most of the countries in Latin America, like Costa Rica, Brazil, Argentina, uh, uh, Argentina, uh, Kenya in Africa, uh, those countries uh, haven't been successful uh, with uh, IMF programs. So it turns out to be a, a chaos. Uh, mm. So they, and uh, 
most of the countries who stayed with the fund for so many years, they haven't been successful in generating uh, uh, economic growth. Okay, thank you for that. But mm -hmm. yeah. when we look uh, at uh, the nations today, mm -hmm. we will see that a lot of countries mm -hmm. are coming to AMF to borrow money mm -hmm. or World Bank to borrow money. Mm -hmm. Are they obligated to do it or just they come by their own? Well, I mean, it seems like it's uh, easy money to get uh, because uh, IMF is not really enforcing the conditions they, uh, they, they put in, pla in place mm -hmm. to start to begin with. Well, let's say they give you a loan for a three-year period. Well, after the three years, even if you haven't been s uh, successful in uh, managing your economy, uh, they renew your loan, uh, your, your loan for, I mean, another three, three years. Three years. Maybe. Yeah. So they are not enforcing the rules. So that's why countries tend to turn uh, to, to IMF to, mm. borrow money to, to borrow money again. Uh, this is uh, one reason. So, I mean, once they, they, they do that, and sometimes people, even in the, the, the borrowing countries, people take to the street and protest, and the protest can even lead to, to toppling uh, the government. Mm -hmm. But even though the next government will take, uh, will take over, is going to turn to, to, to IMF. Money again. Yeah, and, and the, the IMF will give them money. Yeah, because they are not enforcing the conditions. But, but mm. this IMF, does he have some interest in doing that? Because I cannot understand uh, it keeping giving that money away, giving that money away while well, they know that they are not enforcing the conditions which goes with the money. Uh, but Do they have a special interest in that, uh, doing that? Well, because the money comes uh, with, you have to pay back the money with interest. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter how, uh, you, the money will be uh, repaid. Uh, uh -huh. in, in some, and in some if way. it's not in this generation, it must be paid in the second generation. Yeah, unless uh, IMF decides to uh, to forgive, to to, to give uh, off to, the to do a loan forgiveness. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes they have loan forgiveness program to countries what they call uh, a highly a heavily indebted uh, poor countries. Poor countries. Yeah, there are some countries where the resources are so scarce. Mm. They have so little resources that they cannot even, I mean, uh, they cannot even uh, be able to pay the, the loan. At some point, they decide to apply a uh, loan forgiveness program. Uh, <coughs> not, it, may, it may not be the whole loans. It could be like part of the loans. Mm. So uh, th that's why, you know, countries that tend to, you know, rely heavily on IMF to fund their economies. Okay, what I'm hearing from you is this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, countries are not obligated mm -hmm. to go to bo to go borrow money at the IMF. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. but those who go there mm -hmm. are countries in in crisis, financial crisis. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they they are in financial crisis, and uh, this money that they get from the IMF is given with. Uh, conditions, a lot of conditions, mm -hmm. and they have to pay it back with a lot of interest, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So how can we help uh, countries not to get into all this financial crisis? What they, they should do? Should they uh, encourage the population to produce so that uh, there is no uh, crisis in the country, or First, what, what can do? I mean, to help them because it's kind of a, di a disease now. Uh, all countries just going there, there, and they borrow money. And uh, first of all, uh, countries need uh, financial discipline because uh, you cannot be living uh, above your means. Mm -hmm. well, most uh, government tend to, to, I mean, use money that uh, they don't have. What I mean is. Uh, Mismanagement? Yeah, mean? mismanagement. Let's uh. say you have a central bank. Uh -huh. And the central bank uh, role mission is to lend money to government to fund its uh, economic activities. Uh, also to uh, supply money 
uh, to the economy of uh, the country. So if the government turn to the central bank and borrow more than uh, 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 keep borrowing and then uh, we are not seeing uh, a, a good outcome on the ground. Mm -hmm. So it leads to a financial deficit. Okay. So, I mean, uh, that, that's another issue. And uh, if a central bank is putting more money into the economy and the economy is not producing, that uh, leads to high inflation. Mm. And at some point, uh, I mean, if inflation is high, it's like the money is not uh, really useful. So people are going to go to the central bank and then uh, exchange the money with, uh, uh, the with foreign, foreign reserve, like mm. uh, dollars. And then it's going to draw down the amount of dollars that uh, the central bank uh, uh, has. So, uh, and if investors in the countries or business people in the countries want to buy goods or services from abroad, they don't have a, a, a reserve. Mm. So that tend to create uh, economic uh, difficulties. That's why uh, at some point the government has to turn to IMF to, to get money because you cannot keep borrowing from the central bank. Oh. If you are borrowing, you are not producing, the money is useless, and at some point it disturbs the economic activities. It's uh, clear, yeah. but a simple question. Mm. Do you think that those uh, uh, banks, mm. I mean reserve banks, are independent? Because uh, independent in decision making, because it's like uh, they are forced by the government to give more money sometimes that even should not be given. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. That <coughs> that uh, requires uh, what we call uh, financial discipline because because money has to be put into the economy uh, when there is a need. Mm -hmm. You see, if the government forces the central b bank to give him money, to just produce money and then give it to the government, mm -hmm. that leads to a high inflation. Yes. So, but sometimes, if there is no financial discipline, the, the central bank is, the central bank is not uh, independent, you know. You need to have financial discipline so that the financial bank can, you know, make its own decision depending on the economic activities. So they in, should... They in, in most cases, they in, are some not. in some countries, they are, they are not. Yeah, yeah, because of the political situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if they are not independent, I think we should ask our leaders to create uh, policies that are going to let them function independently so that they can be able to control yeah. eh, the circuit of the, the, economy. the economy in the country. Yeah. Otherwise, we will always be obligated to go borrow money to the IMF, to the World Bank, and uh, we know that that money, when it comes in the country, it has always, always conditions. Yeah. Always conditions. And, uh, you know, most of the time, uh, uh, as you said, it comes with uh, austerity measures mm -hmm. because the IMF uh, is going to ask the government to, uh, to uh, I mean, to raise maybe taxes mm -hmm. to cut uh, spending on some of the sectors. Uh, let's say uh, in educational sector, we can say, oh, you need to, you don't need to hire teachers or you need to cut off, to cut off or to reduce, to decrease uh, the salary, the wage of the teachers mm. or to decrease the wage of the, uh, nurse. the nurses. Mm -hmm. So it brings a, a lot of problem and sometimes people are, have to take to the street to protest against uh, those uh, measures. And you know, once when they protest for like uh, months or w or weeks or months, I you see it's the impact the on the on economic the econ uh, activities. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, IMF IMF uh, is not doing a, a good job when it comes to helping but, but countries. <laughs> but even though people keep going to IMF and asking money, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They are not enforcing the rules. Mm -hmm. uh, IMF is not enforcing the rules because if you know, the first time they give you uh, to restore uh, your, your financial, uh, to put your financial situation in, in, in order. But you're not, uh, the country is not uh, 
uh, successful in doing that. So they renew the loan again because they did. They are not enforcing the first condition that uh, they asked uh, to begin with. Yeah. So but if there is a, uh, there's no, I mean there is no enforcement that tend to uh, uh, make the countries turn to IMF for funding. When I look uh, closely mm -hmm. how things work, they will, the IMF, if you, you are unable to pay back the first loan, mm -hmm. they will renew the loan so that you can be able to pay yeah. Eh, yeah. back uh, your, your, your loan to them. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, they don't care much about uh, what is happening on the ground, but they care much about uh, what you paying back because in that money mm -hmm. they have uh, their own interest. What can you say about this? It's true or what? Oh, oh definitely, definitely, because uh, oh, what we are trying to do is uh, uh, once you don't meet the first conditions, mm -hmm. I mean, you begin, uh, you started with them, the IMF. You know, let's say at your the previous term, they set up condition. You didn't meet those conditions, but you get you get to pay part of the loans, and you have a, a balance. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they they renew, they renew the loan so that you can be able to pay the remaining balance that uh, you, you still have. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know. Come it's a kind of a trade. I mean, uh, the it's. Uh, they're giving a loan which is uh, gonna produce more money for them, oh, yeah. and uh, they don't care about what is happening the on the ground. No, the outcome, they don't care about that. No. You can fail or not; it's not their problem. That's, I mean, <coughs> that's what they call uh, bailing out yourself. Okay. You know, you do that to bail out yourself. Okay. You help the the country again so that it can pay the remaining balance to uh, back. So that's. It, 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 problem. It, it, it's uh, horrible. It's yeah. horrible because yeah. uh, they should be caring. I mean, taking care of uh, of the people who are on the ground, poor people. It's like uh, the game is not uh, being played between the IMF and the poor on the ground. It's just uh, the IMF and the government uh, between them, and mm. they can share interest in here. Oh yeah, that's how it goes. That's uh, basically. Uh, so the idea. what the poor in this condition can do? Sh sh should he revolt himself against these people or what? Or oh, yeah. against the government? I mean, that's why sometimes, uh, as we, we know, in many countries like uh, Costa Rica, uh, Bolivia, uh, Argentina, mm -hmm. in the year 2000, uh, only the year 2000, most, most countries that got loan from, that took loan from IMF, I mean, th there were a lot of protests in those countries to the point that uh, they toppled the, the, the government, the, the democratic ele elected government have been toppled. So, um, but still, uh, once the, uh, another government takes over, uh, he turned to IMF to get funding for its economy. Uh, so, w w my question now is, what what can be done mm -hmm. to stop uh, those uh, governments who are going to the IMF uh, borrowing money all the time? What can be done to stop them doing that? Well, uh, I mean, uh, we need to uh, we need to teach the civil society, the youth, mm -hmm. the impact of uh, IMF uh, loans on our economies. You just let them know the, the negative impacts that it's having on our economy. Because it's not even helping to create jobs for, for the youth. Mm. See, m in most countries, the unemployment rate is high. So we need to let uh, youth know that, uh, well, turning to IMF to borrow money is not a solution to generate a, a sustainable economic growth. And then uh, the union, the union, the, uh, the, civil, the public uh, workers, those mm -hmm. working for, for the governor or civil servant, mm. So we need to let them know the impact of, uh, uh, they know already because you know, in most cases they take to the street and then protest. Yeah. So they, they protest when the negative consequences are there. Already, already there. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to tell them to make a pressure on the government to stay away from uh, IMF, 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 IMF like, uh, like 
who, uh, yeah, for for those type of loans to restore financial discipline and uh, growth because it's not uh, really helping our countries. Mm. And uh, there's another way to raise funds. Uh, on the international market, we can sell bonds with treasury. The country's treasury can sell bonds. But uh, you need to be uh, trustworthy so that uh, people can come and buy your bonds because once they buy the bonds, they want to make sure that you're going to pay them back uh, when the terms is due with uh, the interest that you, you, you uh, that the interest that you said that uh, you're going to pay. And maybe so uh, on top of that mm -hmm. also we can encourage our populations mm -hmm. to produce more so that the government can have something to sell out, I mean, to export. Okay. And in this way, get the funds and uh, finance, fund even those uh, development activities in the country. I, yeah, exactly. But I think uh, it starts with uh, transparency. Mm -hmm. Once we have a government who is uh, transparent with uh, little corruption, mm -hmm. so I think m we can easily borrow money on the international market by selling bonds. Once people know that you are transparent, your mm -hmm. your way of managing the resources is there's little corruption, and it can assure them that uh, even if they bu buy bonds from you, you are you go you're going to be able to repay them with uh, the interest that you you proposed. So I think it start it has to do with uh, transparency. Transparency is uh, is key, is the key. in everything. Uh, but it's but like a credit card company. Mm -hmm. They give you credit card because they they think that uh, I mean your credit history. You have a cr good credit history. You have been uh, paying back your loans and uh, and and so on. So if you pay your loans, uh, uh, people are willing to lend you money. So yeah, I think you said there also something very important mm -hmm. about uh, educating our population. Mm -hmm. Because if the population is aware about uh, the game mm -hmm. between the government and the IMF, mm -hmm. I think they can be able to make some kind of a surveillance, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to see what exactly is going on and what will be the impact mm -hmm. on uh, this uh, borrowing money on our population, on us and on our children. Mm -hmm. Because uh, those who are uh, are in the government going to borrow money, th they know exactly what they, they are doing. And mm -hmm. sometimes they have commissions in, in this action. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. They can take some of the money and they put in their own pocket mm. and uh, make uh, the population pay, oh yeah. you know? Oh yeah. So people need to be educated to open eye, eyes on what is going on in here. Otherwise, mm. we will be always on the street protesting, protesting yeah. yeah, protesting. Uh, right. So we, we need to know these things beforehand. Yeah. Uh, I know that uh, the no one can live in isolation. Yeah. No one, state or uh, a person, we need to be in the relationship with other people. And this relationship may be like uh, economic relationship or social relationship and so on. But we should be careful in making those relationship. We should not be always losing in it but we need to gain something too. Mm. But what we are seeing right now is that almost uh, all those relationships, we are just losing, 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 yeah. and uh, we are paying dearly yeah. eh, because of those relationships. We're so not making good choices. We are, we're not, we are not making good choices. Mm. So we should, we should uh, put some kind of pressure on our leaders to be careful in making this relationship even borrowing money from uh, the IMF, from uh, the World, World Bank. Bank yeah. yeah, this should bring some interest on us too, not uh, losing all the time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, if I'm hearing you, mm -hmm. well, I think we need, uh, we can borrow money, but we, know, we, we need to know how to put this money uh, on our interest it's like uh, the example that you said about a credit card yeah having a credit card in your pocket can uh, ruin your life yeah. uh, i mean if you misuse it if you misuse it yeah 
and also if you use it in a wise way mm -hmm. uh, I mean you you, you can you, better your life. You, you can better your life yeah and, and uh, we, we should see these things also in this context yeah, yeah. and uh, try to see how we can uh, use better what we are borrowing because if the some countries have succeeded mm -hmm. in I, I, with this ma with these loans mm -hmm. It means that other countries also can succeed. Yeah, but I think, uh, you know, sometimes it depends on how uh, countries collect the data because most of the time, uh, the statistics that IMF are getting from uh, the countries borrowing money is mm -hmm. not uh, even reliable. Okay. Uh, they have to look uh, at the statistics uh, because they can a bit before they can come up with uh, uh, their conditions. Let's say how to reduce... Uh, the budget deficit, uh, how to raise taxes, and sometimes they don't even know exactly how much loans the country own to uh, different uh, creditors. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't even know exactly the amount of, uh, of the debt of the loans that the country uh, owes to other creditors. It's uh, what happened in, in Greece. In Greece, uh, the, f the first thing they did is they couldn't, uh, they couldn't at the beginning they couldn't even assess how much the countries is uh, <laughs> is uh, owing to other creditors. That is a, a uh, big, big problem. Yeah, exactly. If they don't, you don't know the statistics are not, are not accurate. Uh, it means that uh, whatever you c you're trying to apply is more most likely to fail. Yes. So yes, maybe true. the country that have been successful with IMF program statistically, they have been yeah, statistically stable. sound. Mm. They yeah. have uh, accurate data or something like that. That could be part of that. And, be, and because of those elements, mm -hmm. that's why Esther Lee, William Esther Lee, mm -hmm. is saying that, that we should not rely on uh, these planners who come in an office mm -hmm. collecting statistics which are not even accurate. accurate so yeah. you need to go to the poor himself and mm -hmm. see what he's doing, yeah. you know, and then he's try struggling to help and, and help him yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he may he may fail, but uh, he's trying to do something, and this needs to be needs to be help. Yeah, and w yeah, that's why he is suggesting that we, we should give them like uh, grants. Mm -hmm. You know, people working on the ground. Once they get the grant, they can do better. They can fund their activities, they may fail, but uh, I mean, for the second round, for the second time around, they, they might be uh, successful. Yes, uh. yes. And I think uh, his approach is not uh, bad because uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it indicates the way that the people uh, should go and really build something very a uh, very important, w something which is uh, very solid, mm -hmm. and instead of uh, coming in the office, you know, he calls uh, people who come in the office, the, the planners. The planners, you know? yeah. The, they, they plan in the office without uh, taking in the, the account the reality on the ground. On the ground. Yeah. But if you go yourself on the ground, you see what is happening, you, you will know exactly what's yeah. going on and how you can now help effectively yep. yeah effectively and i think this is uh, is good okay. is good mm -hmm. and we can uh, advise people just to do that if you want to bail out the poor yeah uh, not uh, coming in the office and the plan and the and the go yep. and uh, you ask the money to be paid with with the interest it's 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 not it's not good mm -hmm. so we are <coughs> almost uh, at the end of uh, uh, this show, what we understand uh, in it today is that uh, uh, the IMF, as well as uh, the World Bank, are big, big uh, financial institution uh, uh, which came come to help uh, people. Uh, let's say countries which are in in financial crisis, but uh, it's not uh, often. Um, a success because those uh, loans have a lot of uh, conditions on it and the countries who are in crisis most of the time they are not able
to pay back the loan according to those conditions. It's kind of a business between countries and uh, those big institutions. So if we need to go borrow money there, we need to be very careful and uh, use this money uh, for our own, our, our interest and not the interest of those institutions. Because this is the most that we see in most of the cases that we see. The, 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 the countries are just uh, playing the game to benefit more those institutions than benefit the population. And because of that, I think when we said it also that the, the, the population ha have to be educated on that so that they can uh, watch, uh, sometimes even put some kind of a pressure on the government in the way to use the loan that they get. Do you have anything else to add on top of this before we close this? Oh no, basically, uh, I mean, as you said, uh, we need to educate uh, the youth, uh, the unions, so that uh, they, can, they can put pressure on the government to stay away from uh, IMF. Or, or if IMF really wants to help uh, develop uh, countries in financial needs, so they should give them grant instead of uh, uh, and, and, and instead of uh, giving them loan. And also, they should enforce the rules. Mm -hmm. You see, the rules they set up, they should enforce that so that if you don't, you don't meet the, the condition, they set up rules and then you don't apply, you don't get to abide by the rules, the next time you shouldn't be getting loans. Or uh, another thing that the IMF can do is uh, uh, ask uh, collateral to the government. You mm. see, before the government borrow money, it has to, you have to give, some to give guarantee. A, a guarantee that you're going to pay uh, the money back. Maybe in these conditions, the uh, government can try to, uh, countries can be wise in uh, using the money. Other than that, uh, uh, most of the programs like uh, are not going to be uh, successful. That's what I wanted to add. Okay, thank you very much. I think it was a very very clear and uh, we need uh, to say that uh, the IMF and uh, the World Bank themselves are not bad but the, the game and the impact of, uh, of the game on the population that's what is we are trying to be against here and the population must be educated on this. Thank you very much for watching uh, this show today and we hope that next time you will be also uh, with us and uh, watching this uh, because we are learning things together. Thank you. Bye-bye.